If you ever get to Mount, visit Mount Everest in the Himalayas, in addition to the rugged beauty of the mountains, you will also see colorful flags waving in the wind. These are Tibetan prayer flags. They are used to promote peace, compassion, strength, and wisdom. The people do not believe that the flags carry prayers to the gods, but rather that the messages and wishes will be blown by the wind to spread goodwill to all. Faded flags are a good sign. That means the prayers have been carried away by the wind. The colors of the flags are chosen to represent blue for the sky, white represents the air, red for fire, green for water, and yellow for earth. All five together signify balance. The flags are usually hung in high or windy places to catch wind so that prayers can be carried out to bless everyone and bring good fortune to all the land. The prayers written on the flags are carried by the lunta or the wind horse. He's often drawn in the center. Many times there are short prayers on the flags that are blessings such as may rain fall on the dry lands. But there are several common very long prayers. Here are some of the things written in the most common one. May all beings everywhere obtain an ocean of happiness and joy. May no living creature ever suffer. May no one be afraid or belittled. May the blind see and the deaf hear. May the hungry find food. May the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth. May all medicines be effective. May all prayers bear fruits. May the frightened cease to be afraid and those who are bound be freed. May the powerless find power. Many of these silk flags are still made by hand. Artisans carve um, wood blocks to have the messages and the pictures on them. Then they soak them in butter to make them water resistant. And then artists will spread ink over the printing block and roll a rolling pin or another tool over a flag to press the ink through and bring the design out. This is a traditional method that's been used for many years. After the flags have flown for a year, they're removed by local monks who burn them to release the rest of their blessings, and then they are properly retired. Now it's a good time for you to start thinking about what you might want to put on a wishing or a prayer flag that you can make. You can wish any sort of happy or good thought a blessing, a kindness. You may want to use some of the traditional symbols seen here, or you may want to choose your own symbols, such as a peace sign and a wish for peace on earth. I hope you'll have fun making some of your own, and it will help you be mindful of goodness and kindness and the blessings you can wish to others.